Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that red subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage that TV and radio refuse to cover. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Second round of the UIL 3A Baseball Tournament. Defending 3A finalist Blanco taking on Hallettsville, who went to the 3A Football Finals five months ago. All three games of the baseball series were entertaining, with Hallettsville winning the opener 8-6, while games 2 and 3 were back and forth. One in the rain of New Braunfels, the other in the sun of San Antonio. Let's get ready and let's win a ball game. Hey, get your phones out and start recording. Let's check out the action first from New Braunfels Canyon. Blanco lost a runner on base that would have scored while Hallettsville had a rally stopped by the slide rule that ended an inning. Blanco survived the rain and mud and the Panthers won 9-8. The series shifted to San Antonio for the finale. The first two games saw plenty of scoring. Game three saw a lot of pitching and a critical mistake that decided the series. Hey, stop your crocheting. Well, at least for a few minutes. Let's get back to the action.
Blanco pitcher Lucas Villarreal was in control for five and two-thirds innings, but a game-tying RBI double by Preston Amsden, followed by an error by shortstop Devin Newsom, scored Amsden with the go-ahead run. We started getting in the box. We were, we were out in front a little bit, and then we started to stay back, trying to knock the ball around the yard, shoot it all around. I got in the box, and I was like, I want to be in this position. I want to hit a ball hard, and that's what I got up there and did. Saw a fastball up and in. I was just thinking, well, we got to get this run in. It's already two outs. Let's try to score. So I was running, hopped over the ball, and then rounded third and went home. It was pitcher and football quarterback Trace Paddock that would win the duel as he shut out Blanco the final four innings as the Bramers won 4-2 to advance to the third round in a hard-fought series. We just needed to step in the box to sit back on the ball and see it all the way to the bat. We were just trying to get out in front of it and pull everything. And once we sat back on it, we were able to rip it. I knew my defense was behind me, and they're, they're a great defense, and they're They'll back me up and I just had to keep pitching strikes and they'll make the plays. It's just the mindset, you just got to keep believing and every every week just keep buying into your team and just keep winning. The Bramas advanced to the third round to take on Marion. The last time they played the Bulldogs in the knockout rounds was 2013. The Bramas beat Marion in the quarters and would go on to win the 3A title that year. I'm Greg Sherman reporting.